So today we are going to take on the rib candy challenge. Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. If you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, hey, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it. You get all the good stuff we're doing here. This was started by Kirby at Kirby's Fish and Grill. He tagged three people and one of those persons, Meathead, tagged myself. So I'm going to be doing uh, my rib candy today. I'm gonna smoke the ribs on the Weber kettle using my poor man's slow and sear method. Got me a you know, char grates right here and a water pan. You know, some of us can't afford that, so much, that slow and sear. I know it's a great product and I know it works for a lot of people, but at this point, until David Parrish sends me one, I ain't buying one. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, this is going to be real simple. I'm going to show you how I season up the ribs real quick. I'm going to show you the barbecue sauce that I'm making up. It's going to be like a little tangy Asian glaze. So I'm kind of dubbing these Asian candy uh, ribs. All right. Yeah, I'll work on the title. All right, um, come on back. You'll be over here. We'll start seasoning these bad boys up. The charcoal's already going on the Weber kettle right now. And uh, let's see what we can do. All right, come on back. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the filming of this episode just to let you know that I need you to stick around to the very end when I put all the tags in. So you need to see if I tagged you and if you're going to be doing the rib candy challenge too. All right, so stick around to the end. There's gonna be some surprises there. All right, all right, guys. We're gonna prep these ribs real quick. We got a little of this ses toasted sesame oil, sesame seed oil. So we're just gonna put a little on there. This stuff, a little goes a long way. So you don't need to really get crazy with it. But I want to impart the Asian flavor on here. Okay, and then I have my blend of seasonings right here. It's a little salt, pepper, garlic, uh, garlic powder, and then um, some cumin and a little smoked paprika. I really love this combination. So I've been using it more and more on my cooks. I'll put the measurements down below, okay? You don't rub in your rub, you just pat it in. All right, and now we got some Chinese five spice. So, hope you can see that, all right? Just a little bit of this stuff, a little dab will do you too. It's got those great smells. It kind of reminds me of uh, what you can smell when you have uh, Vietnamese pho. Um, it's just got that great cinnamon, cinnamon in me. I know that didn't sound right. Cinnamon -y, uh, smell to it with a little bit of star anise and uh, just all around good umami kind of smell. All right. So, whoa, a little bit, a little bit. And this is gonna go so well with the apple, I don't know if I'm in frame right here, with the apple wood chunks that I have going on the Weber right now in my makeshift poor man slow and sear. All right, so we're gonna let this seasoning just come to bear for a little bit, get a little, uh, marriage get a little good tasting through there then we'll get these on the on the grill all right looks pretty darn good to me i don't know what you think all right come on back all right guys we're back we're gonna build this glaze this barbecue sauce real quick um i'm gonna put this when the time comes on the weber so i got my outdoor pot that could go on the grill all right so we're just gonna slice through these Thai chilies, just to get the oils going in there. And like I said, we won't include them on, you know, the glaze itself, which that was attached. But um, we want the, the flavors to infuse, get a little of that sweet heat going. You know, let's be, uh, let's not be uh, too crazy. We'll just put three in there. Okay, We've got a little brown sugar. We're gonna shoot for a couple healthy tablespoons. It's a little clumpy, don't worry. The liquid in it will uh, even it out. Maybe a little bit more, even out that heat. Three Thai chilies is quite a bit. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a couple, uh, couple tablespoons of soy sauce. And a half, <laughs> two and a half. All right, we got some hoisin. We're gonna put uh, about a good tablespoon of that in there, maybe a little overflowing tablespoon. Okay, then we got some honey. So we're gonna do a good tablespoon or so of that. All right, doesn't have to be exact. This is gonna cook down and reduce real good. All right. And then we're gonna do a couple dashes. Sorry for that noise in the background. We're gonna do a couple dashes of sesame oil. All right. Looking good, looking good. And we're gonna add the rest of this pineapple juice, which is probably about a quarter of a cup. All right. Then we might use a little bit of water to, to loosen that up a little bit. But that's it, we're gonna put that on the kettle when it comes time to uh, do the basting on it, and we'll be good to go. All right, come on. All right, guys, we've got the color I'm looking for. Looking pretty good. It's about three hours in. I'm gonna take these off, get them wrapped up. I'll take you into the kitchen, see how we do that. Come on back. All right, guys, we got these fresh off the Weber. So we're gonna add some powder sugar, or powders. <laughs> We're gonna add some brown sugar to the tin foil here. We're gonna just add into that sweet and heat. All right. All right. We'll do. Uh, we're gonna do this rib side down. Okay. We're gonna add a little fake butter. It just adds to the moisture and the uh, flavor contrast and parts of there. Just drop that anywhere. All right. We're gonna turn this up a little bit. So we don't have any uh, spillage. Make it a little boat, a little well. And I got some, uh, some of you guys know, I love my Ace Pineapple Cider. So, you know I'm gonna use this bad boy in here. And it just adds to the sweetness. With those Thai chilies we have in the barbecue sauce that I made for this, um, there's a lot of heat. So we're adding a lot of sweet to combat it. All right, don't mind my arms. It was hot today, so I had, I had to take off my shirt and put a little tank top action on. All right, so we're gonna add a little more brown sugar to the back. I put the meat side down. Get a little more brown sugar. Mm. There's gonna be just tons and tons of flavor, boys and girls. Loving it. All right. All right, all right, all right. Add a little more fake butter. Ew. Like I said, if you don't make the noise, it ain't good. All right, a little more beer, a little cider, whatever. All right, there we have it. All right, we're gonna double wrap these, hopefully carefully, and uh, get them back on the grill for another couple hours. All right, guys, we're about ready to take these out of the foil. I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's gonna be hot and I need both hands. All right, and then we're gonna put this glaze on it. It's been sitting in this uh, barbecue for about half hour. All right, come on. All right, guys. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. All right, I'm gonna carve one of these bad boys up. Been sitting, resting, just kind of chilling. Still a little hot. We're uh, six hours into this thing. So yeah, that three, two, one method you know, took it out of me. But I have a feeling it's gonna be nice and worth it. When these come out all nice and tender. Woo, hot baby, hot. All right. For the first time I've ever cooked these uh, St. Louis style ribs. So we'll see how this looks and tastes. All right, let's see if we got any smoke ring. Yep. Let's dip a little of this uh, 
socks on it. Glaze. It's Asian glaze. Right. Woo. Look at that smoke. Oops. Kick the camera. Look at that smoke ring. It's nice and juicy. All right. We did good. All right, guys. Come on back for the taste test. All right, guys, we're done. I cut up a couple of these things. I still got to do some work to, to get these ready for the thumbnail, but I wanted to get a little taste test. These things are going to be sticky. They're going to be sweet. They're going to have some heat behind it. Uh, I'm excited to do this, all right? So, first one, uh, look at the smoke ring on that one. Uh, this needs to stay out for the thumbnail. We're going we're gonna to find another one. All right, here, this one's good. Here you go. Let's try this bad boy. Whew. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. This is freaking awesome, guys. That little, uh, there's a little chew to it, little you don't. It doesn't fall off the bone, which I don't care for that. I don't like over, like way overdone meat. You gotta work for it. You gotta earn it. Mmm. Get a little of that that heat from that Thai chili. Numbing the numbing the lips a little bit. It's good stuff. Mmm. Sweet with the brown sugar, the hoisin sauce. A little savory. You got that umami from the five spice that was on there. This is just a round, a well-rounded rib. I'm loving it. Oh, oh, got two napkins here. All right, guys. So, what y'all been waiting for besides the taste test? Here's who I'm tagging for my next group of people to do the rib candy challenge. We got Kent from Daddy Dutch Barbecue and Eric from Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. And James from Cooking with James. <laughs> and uh, someone said I should throw out Bad Beast Barbecue, Daryl at Bad Beast Barbecue. That boy does some amazing stuff on his grill. So, Daryl, if you see me, do this up. Let me know how it goes. All right, so all you guys, you're tagged. Show me what you can do. This originated with Kirby at Kirby's Fish and Grill, so it's gonna be a good time. I, I like to see the spread. Whew, my mouth is still tingling from the heat. Ah, it's good stuff. All right, so links are below for all those channels. If you haven't subscribed to those people on those channels, Eric, Daddy Dutch, um, James, and Bad Beast, Daryl, uh, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and tell them I sent you. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the rest of this up, make it pretty for the thumbnail, which you've probably already seen because you clicked on it. And uh, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.